You can just do the lifesaver build, right? the deciding and final match of the Southeast Asia Regional Qualifiers for TI8. TNC Tigers versus TNC Predator. One of them will make it and one of them will be sent home. End of the road for them and their TI8 hopes and dreams as uh, we have got quite the matchup indeed. Some signature heroes. The big one from of course, Tigers being the fact that 1437 gets this silence. So we've seen this pretty much banned out, I want to say, every game today yep. against Tigers. They they get it this time around. And Predator, they've, they've got their Armour Bloodseeker. They've got their Raven Razor these, and their Sam Edge piece. But a lot of things to be worried whoa. about if you're against that too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Never mind. I clicked on Cuckoo for a second. Oh, I was like, Cuckoo's going mid! He's got mid items. Yeah, he has got but mid items. He's just got. They're just looking <laughs> yeah. to pull him as much as possible. Just keep. Them, they're just trying to pressure and <laughs> enable Armel. I, I, it looked funny. For, I was like, wait, Cuckoo's back. He's back, baby. I think it's. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, someone forgot to tell him he's not playing mid. <laughs> oh, they stand on high ground. Oh, they're reading the move. They're Tigers ready to fight. They, they five man oh. walks in. Zephyr. Woo! What? The shots. Wait, what? The shots. Save his buttocks. What? Yeah, me too, Armel. <laughs> That we need a JJ push. replay. We've got to get the JJ that replay on that. That was five-man axes, five, I think four or five-man riptide. And then the shards. Tigers was going to get absolutely decimated in that situation. And the shards actually get... I was it looked like it pushed three perfect people. Perfect shards I've ever seen. But now... They may still get something. They're looking to get something else. And they smoke, they're not going to get something. But they can't. Right, where's this replay out then? Let's check this out. What we got? That was that Those was shards pixel perfect. I want to see if I think it was five Has man axes and five man riptide. That was just the dream for Predator. I can't put those shards like, pushed them out shards. perfectly. Let me You're see the four man riptide. Four man riptide, but shards. The shards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Zap. So two for two bounty runes. Looks like we're getting. And. What lane matchups are they wanted? They want Razor to be versus the Omninet, of course, and they want that yep. Beastmaster and Skyrath to be pressuring the PL. So they're gonna try to get that matchup. Sam H sitting there waiting until they find out the lanes. He's staying on the high ground, just waiting. Armel wins the block in mid again. He won the block last time too. So we'll be able to get that advantage on the last hits at the start. And they've got the lanes they want. Here we go. This will ensure that the PL in your dream doesn't get pressured as hard because he's in a tri lane up top rather than a like, dual lane down bottom versus a Skyrath Beastmaster, which is, I mean, that's Skyrath Beastmaster's favorite.
But it's going to be, I mean, I'm looking at this mid matchup again, and I feel like we're going to have some similarity come out, at least in that one. The Bloodseeker oh, yeah. versus Death Prophet. Yeah, no doubt about it, Armel should uh, find quite the advantage here in this 1v1. Top Tigers has some pretty good kill threat, though. Yeah, I'm already. Cuckoo, he's in trouble. Oh. He's blocked up. He's taken down. Bam. In Bam. In gained. Did you see what he tried to do? He tried to place his branch and push himself out of the shards. Does I'm that, almost I positive he tried could, to do it. I don't, think, I don't think you can do that. Though. But I think he tried it. I don't... It was it? I mean, he, he did. I don't. He tangoed it pretty quickly. He did tango quick. It looked like he but tried he it initially. Have, I don't sure. know. I mean, I guess it would work. It I should don't work. think it would work if you get the tree down after the shards. But if you get the tree down and then the shards come down after, because I don't know if can you really push yourself out with the tree placement? I don't think you because you truly won't let you place a tree on where you're actually standing. Just, I mean, I mean, I've seen weirder. I mean, maybe you never know. Maybe it's possible. It would be very hard to do. It would be cool. Yeah. Would be Either way, he does die. They get the two int on the silencer. All right. But I mean, it's actually worse in the mid lane. Much worse than last time. 12 oh. and 11. Oh, he missed. Sorry, sorry. 14 and 10. I thought he was going for a deny. <laughs> he just gets the last hit. This is pretty rough indeed for 4 5 8. Yeah. Cuckoo again. Oh, we got a CS. And indeed, they get a kill. A second kill onto Cuckoo. Securing their PL's farm. Securing their silencer int. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. This mid lane is it's going to be a slow start for four five eight, as expected. But uh, as you say, it's certainly a little rougher this time. Twenty to eleven against six four zero. Is oh. Beastmaster getting any farm? Oh, courier. That was that was scary. Yeah, they nearly lost that there. On top, Savage. They do have the shards and the snowball. A good amount of control. It's going to be another plus two. He's got plus stick charges, indeed. but he is low. That means Armel is happy. 100 base damage on Bloodseeker in mid. But they are. I mean, Beastmaster's not really getting any farm up here. And they're racking up that in. Plus six. That being said, Raven is free farming down bottom versus that Omni Knight. But Omni, since he's oh, in his safe lane, can get something. Not, a, not, not another again. plus two. Oh. The shards again? Now, these shards from Zephyr have been absolutely perfect. Each and every time. He will pay with his life. Maybe the fairy fire. Or oh. 4 HP. Oh, he's going to live. No. no, he's not. The axes are there. Sam H gets him. But not bad for Sans. You know, this for... allows Armel to... Oh, oh. okay. He was mm -hmm. considering diving. That was close. Whenever they get these people low, this is going to allow Armel to just keep the... De Dude, he's level almost level 6. He's halfway to 6, and this is just about to be level 4 death prophet. Oh, well, that's... Oh, that's, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a tough one for 4, 5, 8. It's a trade-off, right? You're like, we need to make sure that our PL has a great time. 4, 5, 8, you're it's, tanking it, man. I mean, this... It, it really does feel like this Bloodseeker is just having too much of a good time. Like, sure, as, as you say, like, the, the trade-off, it just... It doesn't seem even. Like, no. you would much rather prefer to have this Bloodseeker doing as good as he is rather than having this top lane, because sure, it's nice to silence is getting some intellect. That ain't going to save you when this blood-hungry uh, lad just runs at you. Yeah. That's going to have uh, very early item timings. And Cuckoo gets an arcane rune and makes 458's life even more miserable as he gets sewn off from the wave. And yeah, Armel is level 6 versus yep. a level 4 death prophet. That's a two-level difference for those out there. That very nice, Owen. Very <laughs> nice. Cuckoo? Being chased again. The arcane curse comes up, but Armel is here this time. Oh, deny yourself to Roche. Okay. He's dodging the blood, right? Yeah, that's nice. Buying time. Keep him to Roche. Oh, he didn't do it. Let's Armel get the kill. Down bottom. Okay. TPs himself out of the way from Raven. TPs to the shrine. Good efficiency. But who these, got the runes? Yeah, this this mid. Oh, who did? Let's three for three for uh, tigers. One for. Okay. For, this mid lane and this bottom lane looking pretty damn hot for Predator. Yep, looks like a two, a big two lane win yep. for Predator and a one lane that's getting pretty shut down. I mean, Sam H isn't really last hitting up here at all. Yeah, it, it's working out how, how Tiger's plan on this lane. That in, in your dreams game farm. Yeah. Okay, another cool, cool. target. Cuckoo. Can you run down? They're looking for that plus two. The in. They got it. More in. To boot for Mr. 1437. It may cost them the PL's life. As oh. DP's coming on. Oh, they don't oh. know. They don't know which one it is. Can, oh, don't breathe. 
No, they do. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. They do find him with that rotation from our map. I mean, 1437's got 10 in. He's got 10 in. But this, you know, this Omni and Death Prophet, they are suffering. 10 in is it's like a thousand gold. This is true. How much? I, I wish you could see how much people have lost. I mean, Cuckoo's lost eight. Cuckoo's we know lost that. eight, and Sam H has lost two. Okay, well, that was easy. I believe. That was easy. I may have just made that up, but it sounds correct. I think you're right. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Uh, Let's see. I'm on the one I had next. Bottom. Cuckoo on the prep. There's no repel levels. Should be. High link. Yeah, should be fine. They don't want to okay. die. Top lane. Oh, no. Not another plus two. It is. They got it. Oh. 14, 37, 12 in. Smart man. At seven minutes in. I mean. Can they make anything of that in, though? Because they are getting heavily punished on the sides. Rush E blade, and that in translates to damage. That's that's the way you got to go. And we'll see what he does, dude, because he's probably not going to rush E blade. Uh, Miracle just flamed me, by the way. Me? No, me. Oh, good. You cannot do Iron Branch to push yourself out of shards. Yeah, see, I was <laughs> right. Uh, I have the same intelligence on the game of Dota 2 as Miracle. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here as confirmed by me himself. Thank you, Miracle, for backing me up. Thank Appreciate you, that. I've seen weirder, though. Oh, we, all, we all have seen very, very strange things go on in the world of Dota 2. Mm hmm never quite be sure what what could happen i've seen people push themselves on cliffs with iron branches so no what is that possible <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need a miracle fact check on that one <laughs> mid lane snowball out onto arm out in they go they got him trapped in the shards bam that's another plus two the they're gonna get another plus two is he in range oh he, get wants in range. It. Oh, he wasn't in range he wasn't in range he wasn't in range oh we're gonna have to remake didn't get the int. Punching back, though. Kills that they desperately need to get. Who got it, though? Zephyr did. Not the, not the Death Prophet. 458 really wants to get those. But it happens. Raven now. Pushing KYXY out of the lane. And yeah, I've seen people like the Ven. Remember the Venno Ward jungle thing where you push yourself onto the hill? I think they might have changed it. You I remember the when you, and then you, you used to push uh, Roche the up on the branch. cliff, couldn't you? You could do a lot of weird things. What yes. was that? Was that with the cogs or with you the sprout? You could do it with clockwork cogs and sprout. You can't do it anymore, though. Can I you? don't think you can do it you anymore. You can't push him over. I mean, secretly, you know, Miracle's watching going, oh, yes, you can. You'll win. He's see just telling us that until we see say it. Wait until TI, you know. Nah, he's just saying Liquid's going to be shoving Roche all over the place. He's a got him to say it. Now we know that we can iron, you know. Actually, yeah, can we trust? I don't think we can trust Miracle. He could be lying. He was like, my goodness, they're on to us. They know the secret. Push yourself out of shards strapped with the GG branch. Don't trust this. We man. better send them a message saying it doesn't work. So I believe people him. don't start using I doubted it. myself when I said it anyway. <laughs> I I'm, I'm on to you, Miracle. <laughs> Mid lane. First exorcism. It will be set up nicely for this tower. Great recovery coming out for Death Prophet. You know, Armel, sure. Farming very good, but when they're able to group up and actually go for tower pressure. It's, and yeah, look, look how well the your dream's doing off the back of this. This PL. They want to fight tough. this, though. Raven as well as Cuckoo, they're smoking over. Down to him. We've got the Zephyr touch from the side, looking for an opportunity to open up. Raven indeed with wrap round and go straight away. They've got the snowball coming across. It's not going to be enough to save 458 shortly. And indeed it is. 458 will fall. Can Tigers get kills in response? Sam H very low at the moment as in your dream looks to charge forward. They have the GA as well. You've got the Spirit Lance, pick up a double kill. He's moving in as well, chasing onto Armel. Armel still has the arcane curse upon him. So does Raven. As in your dream, he wants more and he may just get his Spirit Lance out to them. Armel, that curse is going to tick for quite some time. We'll see if Armel is able to keep himself alive as he runs away. Tim's chasing towards 1437. Has the net, has the control. He'll get cut down. Is Armel ready to come back in? Zoom. He'll get 1437 with the blood right. <laughs> zoom. Zoom. I like that. <laughs> he really did well, just zoom right by as the blood right's it. popping. It looks really funny. It was a drive by. <laughs> it's fantastic from Armel. As he's, yeah, 2 1 free. Didn't Bounty die rooms. to the Arcane Curse. Does have to be careful, you know, when he's spamming out these blood rages in the fights and this yep. on him. He actually blood raged himself as he was still being hit, too. It looked a little scary for a moment. But they defend the tower. And they do get 
that 458 kill. And it's 40, is he still on 14 intellect, 14, 30, 17, he steal anymore? Yeah, I got up to 16. 16. He's up to 16. He's Don't got, pay his boots as well. And, uh, yeah, oh, he is. That right-clicking silence. I mean, yeah, yeah, he certainly punches once he has the glaives on. At the moment, obviously, no points in them yet. But when he does, he's going to be turning those brains into brawn. Mm -hmm. Smoke Nicely up now done. from Predator. 1437. Oh, there. Goodbye. He might stand a chance here. <laughs> no, no, he, he didn't. K gets out, though. He will survive. Now to that, um, Tigers gets himself top tower, there, and they're going to get mid tower. He's nearly got. He's getting close to his defusal as well in your dream. Seems, I mean, seems so, like a pretty good trade coming out for Tigers. Even though they lose their silencer and they're going to lose bottom tower, they're getting two out of it. Sam H. But mid, they actually are bringing in several heroes from Predator to make sure they don't lose that one. So now... I'm gonna counter it a bit here. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower. Just less than a 1k lead at the moment for the Tigers. Very close between these two teams. It's mid lane. They will get back in and will finish off the tower. And goes the way of In Your Dream. Six, one, and four on In Your Dream. He is all part of all ten of their kills. Yeah, the PL... Plastics are a little suffering because of it, but he's sure. he's moving around a bunch. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's sitting yeah, comfortably at the top of the net worth. And top lane, Tims. Was that his screen on Zephyr? Looked for the connection with the shards, won't quite find him. So, Tims. He's got Song. They're hunting him with the shards. The snowball to dodge the Song, meaning that they'll still get the stun. Tims, can he still make his way out in time? Though that's the question. He's back behind the tier 2 tower, but the curse will connect upon him. Is the mirror image out? Remove such, and uh, in your dream is there, though. He's there with the chase down. Shards not going to chair up in this time. Tims will be able to get himself back to safety. They pop the ghosts. So 458 will look to stand his ground and try and take this tier 2 tower. They pop a early glyph, too, to keep their creep wave alive to, as well. 50, and so you can do anything to, to stop this push from Tigers. Having some even trades coming out, though. Raven's also pushing down the tier 2 bottom at the similar pace. And there will be a trade again. He's going to get away with it. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, TPM from Silencer. Almost a trade. They're TPM into the shot. They they may have a good shot at killing him if Raven doesn't get himself straight out the shots. He's fast. He's he got face speedy. drum. He is speedy indeed, and he does still have Armel by his side. So Raven will be fine. Doesn't quite finish off the tier 2 tower, but he'll push short to come back to, to clean that up pretty soon as it does sit very low on the bottom lane. Looks like they're waiting for them to separate a bit more here. Raven as well of Armel setting up a gank. Zephyr is aware of this, though. He seems to know because that ward that they have on the bottom right as well. Get that D ward. There They're going to go. get D ward. And they know that Raven was sitting around the area, too, because the vision they had. Raven. Let's go straight the TP out. out. Do they have anything to stop it? They do not. Raven is away. Now, that's certainly one thing in, uh, to, to bear in mind. Only only the Tusk that can stop TPs this game. Yep. Until they... I mean, Yule's Death Prophet's very soon, too. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yule's is indeed done. 2600 on Armel on his way to the Relic. And 1437 on the on the warding mission. Heads out, get a couple of wards down over this uh, sort of farming area of the map. And oh, they found Cuckoo. That should be an easy plus two. This is a scary time for the Phantom Lancer right now. PL has to just keep a, keep this aggression on because this is his peak timing when he's got this Diffusal Blade. Him and the Exorcism are their two big damage outputs. Radiance top tower is under attack. In these upcoming fights for TNC Tigers. Almost a mech on KYXY. Coming pretty good. Sam H is a lot more limited as the Beastmaster this time. Similar net worth, but he didn't. He got punished a little bit more in the laning phase than the Omni. Bottom Cuckoo trying to go for an attempt onto Zephyr there with oh, a Raven. Flare. There's enough damage indeed in the jungle. Raven's been found out. Silence chased down as they're ready for the kill and they'll take it. More in for the silence. 1437's knowledge extends. This is exactly what Tiger should be doing. Just keep playing, keep playing aggressively. Use this PL at his big peak that they've got right now. And just yeah, keep making the moves till that Bloodseeker has radiance. They want to slow that down as much as possible. Once we see TNC Predators get their Radiance finished up, that's when we'll see them start smoking and looking for the fights. They're going to get their strength. 
Yeah, that really is going to make a, a large difference uh, against Tigers in the team fights. So that, having the Raiders Bloodseeker, they're just able to sort of get 14 37 out of the fight. Yeah, it'll get 14 out of the yep. fight, and they'll be able to know which one the real PL is, limit his damage as mm -hmm. well from that evasion. Radiance now the tier 2 bottom will finally drop. Raven securing that last hit. Smoke coming out from Tigers. Are they going to be able to catch one of the cores here? Looks like they'll just 37. settle. Oh, Cuckoo. He's, he's having a rough one in terms of his int. He's, I think at least six of those eight deaths have uh, involved yeah. him losing int to the silencer. He has eight deaths. Yep, it's rough. Holy moly. I guess his mana pool is still pretty fine because he's sky. Sure. Yeah, he's, fine. Yeah, he's still got But he's down to tw 29 base in. That's pretty low. Meanwhile, 1437 is up to 67 base in. 67 in. Not so bad. Relic is done on Armel if he chooses to buy it. Getting close to that Radiance. Sam H will be going for the Shadow Blade build as we've been seeing. You know, just wanted to be able to look for those pickoffs. We've seen this build so much. It's like either you go Medallion Shadow Blade or you go the Book 3. If you've got some type of push lineup. That'll benefit into going for Roshan's early on. This is all about just finding people split up around the map. Zephyr. Level 6, level 10, level 11 now, 4, 5, 8. And in your dream, still farming away. Quite a treat. As he keeps himself ahead of Armel. So this one, we sh you know, we've said this for the last couple games, but this one should be closer <laughs> with what we've got going on right now. The PL kind of staying a good amount ahead of the Bloodseeker. Death Prophet and Razor, similar. Beastmaster Omni, pretty similar in net worth, too. Going to be a lot based on these decision makings and probably some Roshan fights. The Death Prophet, both sides have their own ways of taking Rosh. I think actually Predator might have a little bit better if they actually are all in the pit. I mean, Death Prophet ulti always kind of does like the most ridiculous amount of damage, but Beastmaster with the Medallion plus Blood Rage does allow him to take Rosh pretty fast on the Dire side as well. High ground. 4037. I don't know that there was a ward there, but at the same time, that ward is just about to expire. Radiance is done now for our mail. This is probably what we'll see. TNC Predator smoke and look to meet up with their Razor down bottom. I think Raven, Raven doesn't quite have the BKB yet, so they want to make a play around the Razor to protect him. They're actually going to bring the Razor as well. Okay. All right, going in as five. That wall would have spotted that out, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I know what's up. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The question is if the Tigers want to try and find themselves in a position to, to strike back. Knowing that the smoke is inbound. You see 1437's waiting to for the situation to pop the global to try to counteract the aggression. They might be able to find a PL here they though. Let's pretty, see. They're kind of split up at the moment, Tigers. They send the boar, they see the tusk. The Zephyr. We'll get slowed down. Right, let's go towards him. Bloodbright is down. He's got a snowball. He won't even get the chance to use his roots there. Him, he tanks the gank. Yeah, everyone else gets out. Yeah. They had like two kind of traps set up so they would either kill the supports or 1437 just they pop global and they can either like TP out or disengage somehow. So the tusk eats that one. And now they know. I mean, they already probably did, but they know the radiance is for sure out. We have nearly got the. Uh, well, how, how's the Greaves looking on the only night? He's got, he's pretty close. He's got the Mechan Arcanes. Close to recipe as well. Bounties are coming out. It will be three for the side of Tigers. I think they've claimed the majority of bounty runes this game too. And that will be almost a Manta style finished on PL. That's going to give him a lot more freedom in the fights because it still, it still can be a little scary playing PL versus Skyrath and versus Bloodseeker. You get clipped by a silence. You know, it can be very scary, but now with Manta, it just gives you a little bit, a little bit safer. Raven's BKB looks to be the next timing for a smoke or for an aggressive play from Predator. They've got wards in, you know, contesting the Roche. That's the most the thing we we're talking about, it, right? It's, you know, they even place it out, right outside the pit. It's not the most 
normal ward that we're used to seeing, but it's one that probably won't get dewarded since it is literally at the mouth of the Roshan pit instead of in those usual spots. It's starting to get pinged out. 1437, he's like, the Razor's down bottom. Make sure to secure the area around the Rosh pit. And they might look to actually just go in. Let's see. Well, yeah, they've got the ghost and... Look, that would be a decent pace to taking it. And there we Spotted have it. Spotted immediately though by the ward. Can TNC Predator to do something about this? Tigers fully into the pit. They do have the song. They've got a medallion of their else. own to speed it up. The Naga is there. They've got to watch out for the sleep. It's falling kind of quickly, Tims. He's got to get over as soon as the sharp block. It's going to come out from the side. It doesn't matter. He's able to walk around. Roshan incredibly low. Can he do anything to steal it? He cannot. As Tigers take the Rosh, get the Aegis onto 458, and now look for the fight as Tims will fall. TNC that was... could not get into the pit. Very nice shards. They see the Naga in position. They even throw the preemptive repel. So the Death Prophet's not song. Well, now in your dream, he's looking for action, but he's going to get roared. He did not oh have my. the Aegis. 458 was the one with the Aegis. In your dream, went in a little too far. Buyback's now going to be coming out from Cuckoo as he knows that there's chance for more out of this one. K okay. will TP out straight away off the back of repel. But uh, in your dream, getting a, a little too trigger happy after what could have been an easy take Rose, take Aegis, and back off. Are you sure he got any? He got the kill on Cuckoo and such, but it cost him his life. And now they're going to lose their tier one, too. Yeah. That was very over aggressive by the people. I thought he had Aegis. I was going to say, I don't know if maybe maybe he thought he had the Aegis. I, I mean, there's no way. No. Because, I mean, they, they were slept yeah. while the Death Prophet grabbed it during, with her during a pal. Yeah. That was just a little overzealous. Just gets caught off guard. Yeah, losing a bit of the momentum that they, they potentially could have. I mean, obviously, they do still have the Aegis and such, and they will still have the timing to make a play off the back of it. But Predator, uh, at least for themselves, able to shut down a bit of what uh, Tigers tried to get going a little too abruptly. Yeah, Cuckoo gets a gr an aggressive ward down. Scouts out the movement on the Shrine as well. Probably may even, may even have saved Sam H. Who knows? Very costly for them. Yeah, sure, they get the Roshan and everything, but right after that, losing their PL, who was on... Quite a surge forward in this game. And we'll see this again. Yeah, As it, 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 looked, it looked like Predator might have been able to get towards it, but they they sort of backed off. Well, it was a, uh, the shards kind of cut them up. And but Tim's can, you, can get, you, they, you can walk around those shards. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, he the, walks the through. Global, right? Yeah. Like yeah, I guess. yeah. The repel yeah. comes out too. And the, the, the repel was super clutch to make yeah. sure DP's not slept. Raven has the BKB finished. Zephyr. The shot, they got the punch as well for it. Raven goes straight for the TP. He's going to make it in time. He is. Oh my god, he had like 50 HP or something. One more hit. Very heads up play there from Raven. Off oh, that BKB and the punch was used, knowing that he just had to TP out and nothing would be there to stop him. That was, that was super yeah. close. Still, Tigers and we're pushing on the mid. They know it's in the real one is they're pinging it right now. Sam H has invised up. You see though this Tusk Zephyr has the blink dagger finished, so he's ready to go for those counter initiations if one of their big cores get roared. Yeah, those saves are gonna be huge against the blood right rupture raw. So they really have to find some way of disabling that tusk. Predator. And why Zephyr will be there with a the save pretty much every time. They seem a bit afraid to take the fight. They're very close to Armel's BKB. They want that ideally before it does happen, but Tigers, they're looking to breach with this Aegis still. There we go. He goes out. 4 5 8. Closing up. Tier 3 at half health. And the Predators are due to push this off. They get the silence, they get the control. 4 5 8 repel. Greaves, pop. 4 5 8, fine. Yeah. Back in, looking towards that tier three. He's got the blink. The blink dodges the blood right. They're trying to disengage S smoke. They're trying to catch something here on the side of Predator. Maybe they get 1437. Sam H, can you close the gap? The, the sigil will be out. Then attempt slow down as effort. He'll he'll time the kill. He will, oh he no, he the won't. Blink out. The snowball into blink. He will not turn the kill because he'll get out as well. Tigers get everybody out to safety. And that was the smoke used for them to try to get catch off of that. That was a great 
great seas of opportunity that coming in there from Tigers, knowing they still got Aegis. It looked like Predator's waiting for some timing here, so they forced the issue. At least almost get the tower. They get like 1,400 damage on it. Sam H will stop canceling the axis, just try to catch the snowball, the blink before him, but unable to. And we'll see this again, this close escape from Raven. 41, 41 HP. HP. Yeah. yeah. On the mid, Raven steps forward a bit. Gonna get cursed, holding the BKB. Jump in, 458. Let's get the Yules. Chance down as well. Cuckoo will be trapped up. Cuckoo will fall. Armel, they're ready to make the counterplay. The Snowball will be there, keeping them safe from the blood, right? And rolling back to safety. Armel gets completely oomed by those illusions from the PL. So he does have to back up. They don't want to fight when he's got no mana. And Cuckoo continues to be the sacrifice. 1 and 10 on the Skywrath. How much int does 1437 have now? 24. Okay. And that is a gem picked up I'll nice and early on by Tigers. It's nice and uh, tidy little escape there from the Tusk. Snowball into the blink. Bam. Bam. Gets him out. <laughs> Every time. So now with this gem, Tigers looking to keep their map control. 4k advantage for them. Experience still going the way of TNC Predator, but it's very minimal. This gem will help them not allow Sam H to get that jump on them. He's, he's, pretty, he's been struggling a decent amount to get good roar targets. And now with versus a gem with the Shadow Blade, it should be harder. He found the roar. Comes out. Mel was already out. The Snowball's there as well. There's the reactive play. 458 comes in with the two-man silence. And now Predators have to back off. Ghosts have been popped for this. So 458 does want to fight, but Tim's... He's got the song. It's just a song to allow the rest of his team to disengage, keep themselves away from that exorcism usage, and make sure that this one is a wasted one from 458. Tim is making the executive call to not go into the fight. Armel threw the rupture down, and Rim Tim's like, no, don't take this fight. Wait for exorcism to be done, then they can look to take an engagement. And your dream's getting very close to having that, that heart online. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's very far in this game. 15k net worth compared to the 13k of that Bloodseeker. Keeping a solid 2k lead. They forced everybody on the side of TNC Predator down bottom. They're starting to bail out. Oh, almost gets netted on the TP out from the Tusk. But all of Tigers will get away. And Predator just... They're too slow to find an opportunity again. They do seem to be, you know, they seem to be struggling a bit. Like, we see this uh, Beastmaster Skywrath. One of the things we always talk about is like, you have the combo, right? The roar into the Mystic Flare. They actually haven't been able to get it off in any occasion. And we're already 30 minutes in. And now at this point, like, they've got the blink, of course, what we mentioned much earlier on the Tusk. So they've got the ways to save over and over again. And I'm pretty sure it's getting close to a BKB on Death Prophet on top of that Repel that he's already had from the Omni Knight. So it's going to be really reliant on Armel as, as as well as Raven and Tim's inside of these team fights and what control they can actually cause. Because Sam H and Kuku are really suffering to find those opportunities. Those are the two on town for free here. Tigers are able to, to find the fight in time. In your dream, just getting further and further ahead on this Phantom Lancer. Yeah, they fantastic lane up top, which we, we saw. You know, they, they did decide that Tigers to put a lot of emphasis on making sure he had a good lane, yeah. mid lane, bottom lane. It wasn't a great start, but it, it's it's paid off as it's sort of getting to this stage of the game because they do have this uh, incredibly comfortable Phantom Lancer. Yeah, I mean, 3,000 health. And the AoE on the side of Predator is not really the greatest. They've got single target Beastmaster, single target Skywrath. Naga doesn't apply too much damage. It's really a lot on Bloodseeker. Like Razor, if you can link the right one, even if he dopples, if you're still in range, you know, the link does follow the PL and whatnot, but your damage isn't really there to be taking out all these illusions in this incredibly tanky PL. I'd be looking a bit scary right now for Predator. Mm, 
just got the blade mount now. At least I'm out. Yeah, it can work well versus Death Prophet, mostly. And so, yeah, but the PL is such an issue. Yeah. They need a couple more items on Predator to really have a, a solid chance of taking down in your dream of these fights. Shivas will help a little bit. Raven's getting... Raven actually has it finished up. They're yeah. initiating forward. Yeah, they are. They're going with the snowball. Zeph has gone right forward. The BKB comes out from Raven. The force is there in an attempt to get the Tusk back to safety. It'll work. They managed to force out a BKB charge from Raven. They have to bail out the Tusk. He's got their gem. They don't want to lose that at this point in the game. You could lose a ton of map control there, and yeah, forcing that BKB. Sure, Raven's got Shivas, but 50 seconds till BKB's up. How long do we have for Roche? Roche is in 50 oh. seconds. It's, oh. a it's, it's a little bit of a longer one. It's not super long, but it's... It's pretty much there. Yeah, 40 seconds. So BKB will be up at the same time as that Roche spawns. Both teams will be ready to fight. The Predator, they are very afraid. While this BKB is on cooldown for Raven, they are actually just sitting in their base. And Samage. Since they have that gem, does go back, get a Blink Dagger. I was thinking he might even sell the Shadow Blade, but that's like, that really hurts you, at least in value. But now he's got a way to actually start the fight, which he really was lacking on this beast with the Shadow Blade versus gem. And they find the PL. Saw him you. for a second. They don't know which one the real one is, though. Can they hunt down the real one? Oh, it's they're so pinging hard. it. They're pinging it. Oh, it's kind of clearing out. Sam H, does he want to go for this? He jumps in, goes for the easier target, gets the roar out onto the Tusk, but the Tusk is forced back to the side. Grease pops as well. They're back up to full, and now the jump in. Tigers are ready for the play, ready for the fight. They take down the Beastmaster, now looking to surround Rave, and Rave has popped the PKP, but he's taken a lot of damage from the Exorcism. GA popped out as well, as they can just move on, Tigers. No fear at all. Armel's TP gets cancelled by the punch, as Predator lose two. And Tigers, they can go straight back into the pit. The attempted initiation there from Sam. You see him jumping in. He knows he, he sort of has to go for the Tusk. Otherwise, whoever else he rules will get saved by the Snowball. But the fact is, with the Greaves, with the forces in play, there's so much that, that each and every one of Tiger's lineup can do to save one another from that sort of raw initiation. Yeah, I mean, they, he blinks Roar. Yeah. Roar comes out. Global hits. They can't follow up on the Roar at all. And then they have to use defensive Naga Sleep to try to disengage with their BKBs. Looking scarier and scarier by the minute here. This Phantom Lancer is completely out of control. And they don't have an answer to this overwhelming team fight that TNC Tigers does have. They just don't feel like they just don't have enough team fight themselves to actually pierce through it. This Omni Knight just sits in the back, gets his spells up every time. Seems like they have to get these perfect type of initiations on Predator. Cool, cool. Oh, the cheeky one they let out. Concussed it <laughs> before TP's out. Living on the edge there, Kuka. Yeah, it seems like now in these fights, they're going to have to try to find a way to disable both the Silencer and the Tusk. Yeah. Which is going to be very hard. I've been seeing Zephyr. Zephyr in this game, his positioning has been phenomenal. He's been standing pretty much on top of the PL or standing near them to make sure it's like, hey, you want to roar PL? I'm there for the save. Do we have any Lotus Orbs on Predator queued up? We do have a Lotus Orb finished on Tim's. Okay. okay. So that's one of the ways, of course, to counter the global silence and all the silences that are coming out as well from DP. But still taking the fights, bringing down this PL. Does seem like it's just going to get more and more difficult as he gets tankier and tankier. And they, uh, they're just having to get items to do in the boots. You see Raven queuing up a Maelstrom on the Razor just so they have some way of fighting through the the Illusion Army of the Phantom Lancer. Yeah. Armel is queued up Mjolnir yep. as well. They have to get something that's going to allow them to cut through this. It's bottom lane, Tigers. 8k gold lead, 35 minutes and 18 to 9. And pushing on to a tier 2 tower. Uh, any sort of uh, refreshes leaked in this lane. In terms they're going to the force... Making the trade. Tigers has got to yeah. force base. I mean, wait. Your dire Glyph was used on the tier 2. Yeah, they can easily go high ground here. And Ghost is straight out. They realize that they're in. 4-5-A ready to go. Ready to push onwards, and that's the tier 3 gone. I can't believe Predator is actually glyph for the tier 2. The racks are in trouble. They've got to do something. Top lane, Sam H is going to go for the trade. It's going to go and try for the split push. There's bottom. They're pushing on. They want to finish off this melee racks with the ghosts, and they should be able to do so. Sam H continuing to try and find something in return as they do get the melee racks, Tigers. Now they look to back away. 
TNC, if they can cancel some TPs here, Sam H may get the racks. But it doesn't look like they can cancel that. 40 37s in Sam H. Or he could just go in and try and go for the kill. <gasps> but the silence! The global. Instant reaction there from 1437. That's going to mean that the Royal can't come out. And 1437 will be fine for now. Extra TPs on their way back as Sam H does bring the racks down low. But they're in. And they defend. And they They got to get rid of the catapults. They shouldn't. And they will. Yeah, they should be able to do so. They got the whole team pretty much back. Four of them at least there to dispatch off oh, the catapult. So, I mean, Sally certainly trying to make the best out of a bad situation, but a, a situation the Predators, you say, shouldn't have really found themselves in prematurely using the Glyph, not having it for the high ground defense. They lose a melee racks. Yep, that's it is a costly error. And Tigers capitalized on it right away. Yeah. Samage almost gets the racks. Yeah, just, just, he nearly it was like, the best out of the He was animation, mid-animation of the roar, and the bottom fight actually engaged. So Thiebman 1437 pops the global, and it's like a double benefit. Yeah, Stopping that Beastmaster as well. I as mean, the, the question the is there, was Thiebman, was he silencing because of the Beastmaster, or was he silencing because of the fight? Probably the fight. You think because of the fight? Yeah. It was just like, oh, hang on, I just stopped you from killing me as well. Yeah. That's a bonus. I mean, if Sam H didn't get greedy and get the Shadow Blade hit first, then sure, he could have gotten the roar off from the from yeah. the from the invis. But he wanted that extra hit. And there's a full Scardy on in your dream on top of that heart to ask. All right, that's like a 3,800 HP or more. Dyer's top Easy. Shot. How are these Maelstroms looking on the cores? Yeah, 3731 without the Aquila. Maelstrom should have been finished on Razor if he has the gold. He does, but I think buyback as well is something that's popping into his mind. Mm -hmm. His attack speed is not the greatest either. He he's has got no to get attack 25, speed items. Then he, silly. Yeah. When he gets to, when he gets to 25, then he's got some. Then he's got attack. But right now he's got nice like attack speed. he's got no attack. Speed. Oh yeah. At the moment, it's not going to be great. And they're sieging. They're looking for the second set. And the ghosts are back up and out. Four, five, eight. Look at the positioning from the three quote unquote supports. We'll oh, call them a support here. Just, Look at how they're split so up. So much safe. Look, one all the way in the back. The other one kind of in the middle so he can get in range with the blink and the omni just all the way in the back it just seems it seems flawless they're, they're sort of the push that they can go with now because of all these saves range oh, back. gone they do manage to get him but the ga is out straight away raven pops the bkb that was in your dream but in your dreams ready to move forward they managed to get well the tusk has trapped him on the back line sam h sam h will go down it will buy back straight away but they've lost cuckoo 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 does not have buyback tims with the song oh my god Saving so Raven for now, but the racks will surely still fall as the song will end. As in your dream, 4 5 the whole team of Tigers ready to push in, take that melee rack. Tim's goes forward with the net. Self fuels up from the DP, keeping us safe from the axes as Armel's trying to get in. But the army of PL illusions just taking away his mana. Tigers cleaning out that top set of racks. Now a 15k gold lead in a series where they could be knocking out of the running for a TI-8 spot, TNC Predator. The team tipped to be the favorites coming into this matchup after a, a very impressive sort of showing this DPC season, qualifying for numerous lands, but the new guys in town, TNC Tigers, in this game three so far, just look to have outsmarted them, outwitted them. Predators, they tried to get the wraparound too, but 458, he just held his ground versus three heroes in the front line while his back supports are kind of just fighting and doing just fine anyway. And now Predators, this feels like it's a desperate smoke. They're trying to catch Tigers out of position with their ultis down. Can they actually do so though? Tigers looking to claim high ground, standing near their shrine as well. They want this fight to come to them now. And Predators start to get a bit afraid of it and it's obvious now all three lanes pushing in tigers they already were very aware of it now they're absolutely sure this death prophet who suffered so much in the laning phase so much at the start of this game the recovery three one and six four five eight so for cuckoo but cuckoo got friends oh they the linkers they've got the world to go through and he's gone i cursed him in, in your dreams dream. in though. Does have a double damage. So now Sam H, he's got to get the heck out of there and he will do so. TP out will keep him safe. Raven does still have the BKB and the TP himself. But they There's, got the punch. They do indeed. He can't go for the TP play. Zephyr actually not looking to chase him now. He needs to get back in there and he will. Blinks in, bam, there's the punch. They get Raven. So they may have lost the DP, but again, the trades just continue to favor Tigers. They lose Absolutely. a death profit. They take a razor plus one. They get the cuckoo sky off as well. I mean, that was the... I, I absolutely cursed the death bar, right? 458 was having an excellent time. 
Still, they're in a very comfortable spot, though. 40 seconds till the Ghost Lady does respawn. And I, I like the Zephyr's play there, too. Like, he could have maybe stayed in range of the Razor, but then he gets it by Shiva's one out. He actually backs up, outranges himself, and then, yeah, that blink back in to get the punch. Can Predator hold? It doesn't seem like it. And now they have to go through a global Guardian Angel. So KYXY could be positioned anywhere. How long we got for Roche? We got 115 on Roche. I don't see Predator taking a fight into that Roche pit. It sounds extremely difficult. They're now just kind of stuck in their base while Tigers just keeps farming up. Getting some luxury items. Tusk with boots of travel. That's lovely. Can Predator find anything? They're smoke. I mean, they're shadow blading out with Sam H. I don't even believe they have a smoke remaining on their hero since they used quite a lot of those. To try to get the catches out. Did Armel pick up the full me on it? Or was he saving for buyback? He's saving. He's saving. He got level 20. He took the rupture damage again. Yep. Radiant are scanning. Still holding on to that gold. 20 seconds. Can they keep their lanes down in a good spot? Tim's has been manipulating the bottom wave with illusions for a bit. So they're trying to get these lanes out so they can try to take this Roche fight. BKB also finished for Sam H. Can he find the right jump though? It's seeming so difficult. There's so many targets that they have to try to go for in these fights. The Tusk, the Silencer, the Omni. Just seems so powerful as these support heroes. And here we have a Zephyr, finds the jump immediately. In with the punch, they're onto Cuckoo and Cuckoo's gone. Buyback back available on him. The ghost out from 4-5-8 as well as he's in straight into the middle of the fight here. He went right in. He's got the cheese. He's back up to full. Armel popping the BKB as well as Raven. They've got the song as well from Tim's to allow them to back off. This Death Prophet has no fear. She went straight into the midst of them all. Cheese has been popped by herself. And now ready to try for the high ground with the remainder of the ghost. The fortification popped by Predator. But TNC Tigers, they're ready. They jump in. Blade Mail's out on Armel. They'll turn with the net onto Zephyr. Removes it with loads of sword. In your dream straight away and onto the target. They've got their lock down as well. Can Raven get a good starting link off? He's on to in your dream. He's getting a lock stolen. Armel gets the blood right out. He gets the heal as well with the blood rage. Armel, can he keep himself alive? No, the bash is there. Armel will fall. Buys back immediately. Tim's goes to the now to 458. Linkers will pop it. Breeze popped as well by the Kayers. They keep them full health. Raven getting locked down. Raven bashed up by the PL. Raven's gone. He'll buy back. No, Armel in the midst of it all with the Blade Mail. He's now getting bashed. By in your dream, they'll try and force him away. Armel trying to run himself out. They're pretty low, so he's got a lot of movement speed. He can run, but he can't hide if the illusions chase him down. In your dream, he'll fall those potentially. Is he still alive? No, he's gonna stay alive. Oh Ultra kill in your dream finally goes down, but he'll buy back. Armel with the boosted speed. He's ready to chase. Looking towards 1437. He's got the blade man out. Take 1437 out. Now turns towards K. The static link, the net, the TP cancel. K held down. TNC Predator, they'll find him. They keep the middle racks alive and they do push Tigers back. They won't let this game slip away quite yet, Predator. How many buybacks? Cost them two. They're two big cores. And your dream buys back to make sure that they can secure that Roche. This will be the refresher shard. Can Predator make it out there in time? It doesn't look likely. Tim's does have Song available. It's, it's too far. It's far too far for them to get to, surely. He's trying to sneak his way in. He's got he, the song. He can't make it there. Or maybe he can. Sims. The song. 800 HP. Raven and Armel, they're in. Can they really do it? Predator, can they steal the roast? They're in. They'll get the kill. They get the Aegis onto Tim's, but can they take the fight? The dieback immediately coming out in the Death Prophet. 1437 the side, trying to throw the curse in. Raven getting brought down very low here as he tries to get himself away and out the bit for the cheese. He got it. Raven back up to full. Zephyr, he's fallen. In your dream, silence. In your dream. Coming in with the silence. That's going to be the PL down for two minutes without buyback. TNC Predator. Tim's. With the best song the Predators ever heard. Coming into the pit and keeping the TI-8 dreams alive against the Tigers. Who got the shard? dream is down for 100 seconds. Did you see who got the shard in that fight? I, I could not tell amongst all the chaos. 
I know they got ages and cheese, Raven, though, and that's what matters. I mean, Raven getting the cheese as well. It's, he did not have buyback. He falls there, they lose. I mean, in your dream, had just used buyback to go for that. It's and now out. he's dead. Oh, my goodness. We're going to see a bit of a replay, but at the same time, the push could get a bit hairy as well. Predator. They're moving up to the high ground. Meteor Hammer's well ready for the push. Tim spent all his gold. He went back to base, bought Lucha Troubles and the Meteor Hammer for this push. Tim's the man of the moment oh here for TNC. God. Tim's. He wants that TI8 position ever so badly. A play that looked to be impossible may just be enough to keep them in the game, Predator. I, I can't believe this is happening. As they get the mid racks. The top racks as well will fall still 40 very excruciatingly painful seconds for Tigers to go through without their Phantom Lancer. They're Two gonna continue. sets of racks. They get Roar, the roar. Jump, looking for K. Zephyr's there with the snowball save. They have to fight without their PL. The global comes out, but 458, he's taking so much damage. He'll Yule's up. The GA's out, buying some time for Tiger's armor. Keeps his distance. 458 with the siphon onto Tim's, but they kite them out. Tim's turns with the net. That's the GA and the ghost used. They'll the keep base. the game going, but indeed, they've got a TP back. They've got a, they've got a creep problem. Predator. As they will get out, Zephyr. Looking to catch out Cuckoo on the escape. He goes for the DP. Will they get the cancel in time they want? There's no Cuckoo yours. Out. They don't have the yours back up. It was still on cooldown for like a quarter of a second. But the PL's back in the game. Look, just look at the graphs. That dictates enough of what we just saw in this game. 16,000 gold swing. Experience even more so. And you've got to remember, they haven't quite been mega creep. There is uh, TNC Predator. They do we still the have racks. the melee racks middle. And it's pretty much regen back up to full. The state of the game on the side of TNC Tigers. They've got the full set of racks down bottom, but it's now only a 5k lead. Tigers had a massive lead. He had t I, Tim's getting to the pit with that song, a siren. That I mean, them still. getting everything too. I, I still didn't see who got the pressure shard. I think someone used it instantly or killed it. I, I'm assuming TNC got it because they got the Aegis, they got the cheese, used it in perfect scenarios. Look at how much they got out of that. It was a Maelstrom on Razor before all that happened. Now a full Mjolnir and a full heart. Uh, Same thing for Armel. And of course, it would happen all in this game. The game that stands between both of these teams making it to TI8. That trip to Vancouver resting on the performance of these 10 players here in this, in this final game at the end of a very long stint here in the SEA regional qualifiers, uh, especially for Tigers. They came coming through the opens. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that's... I could not believe what I was just seeing, actually. We have about three minutes for majority of the buybacks, but about... We have 417 on Death Prophet as well as Tusk. So we got to keep eyes on these, these buybacks for these next upcoming plays. As now, what seemed like a very formidable force that Tigers had, now all these items being distributed on this Bloodseeker and this Razor, they are... Really damn scary as well. They have the tools to bring down the PL. I mean, the fact that they've been able to win those fights whilst they've been that behind, it mm -hmm. it makes it very scary for Tigers now because now they're playing on pretty much a close to even playing ground at 50 minutes in. Absolutely. So if you can't win all the fights whilst you're ahead, you know what sort what sort of hope do you do you stand to to have a chance in if if they're now oh, itemized against you? They're, they're smoking. smoking in. It's backdoor protection. Just still. The get creep, back. Wave is, creep wave is getting counter pushed though. Oh, they've got the melee creep. They've got the melee racks in the mid lane for TNC Predator, so they actually won't be able to get up. But they do get a ward down for Vision. How close are these 25s coming out? Nobody in the game still. That is very rare. 50 minutes, nobody is level 25. We're about to have. Three of them pretty much hitting at the same time, though. How's the buyback status is looking? Starting to come back up very soon. About a minute yeah. for a couple of them. Three minutes the longest. And, you know, Tim's, he's, he's preparing to chill out and push out some waves. He's getting the Radiance online. 
He queued that up when they were losing a very long time ago. And then he bought the Boots of Travel. Oh, and okay. then he bought the Meteor Hammer too. Because they've already got Radiance on the Bloodseeker, right? Oh, so that it's is like, true. I mean, it's obviously nice he to, might to buy it to split push. push the multiple yeah. lanes out. Yeah. I think he could go for other... I think, like, Aghanims or something to reset and full heal could also be a really strong option if he wants to go for something like that. We'll see what this... This man decides, since he is... The one who has saved this game for his team. He absolutely has, Tim's. Can't spell Tim's without T-I. This is absolutely true. I'm doing some 25s now. The Bloodbright cooldown for Armel. Got the attack speed, of course, for Raven. It's gonna help Raven a lot. Uh, in your dream, he took the doppelganger cooldown rather than the damage talent. The, the, the critical strike, this mm -hmm. game. Do you like that decision? I think people are pretty torn between that talent. Yeah. It's like, do we have enough ta damage? Yes, I go doppelganger to survive. Okay. Do we not have enough damage? I take critical strike. Their damage does not seem to be so much the problem in these fights. It could become now, though, because we haven't really seen a proper engagement since that big swing around. And what a swing around. He's starting to sell just the 3k lead that Tigers have yeah. after being close to, to about a 20,000 net worth advantage. And uh, absolutely one of those swings that's, that's very exciting to see as well because yeah, I don't think you call that swing a throw. That was just a, a play from Tim's and the team. That how do you react to that sort of sort of that play coming in it's, like that? Can they really expect a, a Nagasaru to be able to waltz in whilst they're they're halting? It's it's a hard play to read, a hard I, play to play around. I mean, you saw the way he did it too. He sent one illusion up top, then he yeah. sent another one down south, then he walked with his hero and another illusion down toward the middle. They had used their PL buyback to go for that Roche. So that was Predator just being like, we need to contest this Roche because then we can waste the PL buyback. And they did so perfectly. They're all positioned on the high ground here. I buybacks are pretty much almost all back. Death Prophet and Tusk being the two without. And Bloodseeker actually short a bit of gold here. Armel. Okay. 600 more for him. Not too much. They got, they got one in the co one kill in the fight before he goes down and he'll have buyback. Is that, do I see that right? Is that two obs wards place in the same exact position by TNC Tigers? It looks like it, right? Yeah, that's, that's two that obs thing In the same exact position by TNC Tigers? It looks like it, right? Yeah, that's, that's two that thing In the same exact position by TNC Tigers? It looks like it, right? Yeah, that's, that's two that obs Dead!